Hello, in this video I am going to show you how to download any game for free for PlayStation Classic using the No PlayStation browser. Low disclaimer, this is for educational purposes only. The game that I will be downloading and converting, conversion is part of the process to be able to run it on the PlayStation Classic. The game I'm going to be downloading, Crash Bandicoot 3 Warped, I already own in digital form on PS3 and the physical version as well. So if you already own the game, that is a different matter. This video is not condoning piracy in any form, but you can download any game from it. Okay, so first of all, we're on Linux you, you, and we need to run executables, Windows executables. You can't natively do that. So we need to run or install something called Wine. So if we go to Chrome or whatever browser you have, and if you need to put your password in, put your password in, I've just logged in. And now, if you just literally Google Wine Linux, I'll provide a link to everything that you need. So you don't have to worry too much. So if you just go to install the latest Wine, go scroll down. Depending on which Linux distro you want, choose Debian or Fedora. I'm going to choose Ubuntu because that's the one I'm on. And now you need to enable 32-bit architecture. Just follow the steps that are required. Most of the time, it's going to be very similar and you're probably on Ubuntu mode probably as well so you need to copy this this is just going to enable 32-bit architecture if it isn't already enabled type your password in you will not see it in any form but it is being typed next you need to download and add the repository key so copy that and paste that here and you know I've already done it so you might see stuff like this on my side and we're going to copy that and run that now Okay, so now we need to add the correct repository. Make sure you do it for the correct version. To get your Ubuntu version, go to here, go to settings, go down, go to details, and mine's 18.04.1, so just 18.04. So I need this right here, copy it, go to terminal, paste, and this shouldn't take too long at all. So this is just getting the package. This isn't updating it at all. To do that, we need to copy this and paste that. So if I right click, paste, okay. And this will be done shortly. Next, we need to install you know, one of the branches. I'm gonna install the stable branch, recommend doing that. It's instead of the development or the staging branch. And again, this mine will be quicker and the message will be slightly different because I've already just installed the latest version. Once you've done that, you're ready to go. If we type in wine, we're allowed to you know, use wine now. So to actually download the game, we need a few things. Google, no PlayStation, no PlayStation, also known as the NPS browser. Go to the website, I'll provide links to everything as well. Download it for Windows OS. Download the latest version. Go back. We want to select PSX games. This is basically a list of all the PSX games and their download links. And MPS browser links with this. It just easily allows us to download them using a nice interface. So if I just download that. Next, we need to download something called PKG2Zip. This is just what is required to automatically unzip our you know, files when we download them. If we click this, go to releases, go to 32-bit or 64-bit, your choice. I'm just going to stick with 32-bit. And next, the last thing we need to download is PS Extract. And this is used to essentially convert our file that MPS browser downloads which is in .pbp format which is PSP format we don't want that for PlayStation Classic it needs to be in bin Q format so if we go to releases go to psextract.exe and that's it we've downloaded everything that we need we can actually get you know starting now so I'm going to close that down go to the download directory in here we need to first, you know, change directory to the downloads directory. So just change it to this or wherever your files are that you downloaded. You might have put up somewhere else. Now, what we need to do is run 
before we do that, we need to extract this out. So extract here, and we'll we'll be linking the file with this. So we need to run wine, and we need to run this file. So nps underscore browser browser underscore 0.94 dot exe click enter and if you get anything like this just click ok before I set this up if it, this is the first time you're running you know NPS browser because this is made using C sharp you need mono don't worry when you click enter a little pop up like this will pop up saying do you want to install this you click install you'll ask about gecko a couple of times just click install anything else it says that you don't have just click install and that's it but again you, you don't have to seek this out it's just after you run this command now i'm i apologize for it being a little you know small here because this is an exe and you know the scaling isn't the best so again i just apologize you want to go to psx.tsv we need to link it up so to select wherever this is and one thing I want to show you because this has sort because this is an exe it's sort of trying to do it in a a you know Windows format so if I go to my computer for example it's got a C drive and when I'm interested in that you want to go to the D the Z drive or one of the other drives that are available go to home your username and that's where all your Linux stuff is so for me it's in downloads and then we go to psxgame.tsv, click open. Two last things we need to do here, select download and unpack directory, so click browse. And I need, just need to navigate to it again, so z, home, my username, which is for Han, go to download. And in here, I'm gonna create a new folder, I'm gonna call this files, for example. You can call it whatever you want. Click OK. So this is where no, this I was meant to put files. So make sure you select the correct folder. I'm just going to put it here like so. This is just where the games will download from NPS browser. And now the PK, PKG decoding tool. And if you go to PKG to zip.exe, select that. And that's it. Click X. And so load up. And we have everything all loaded. If you want to refresh, just go to File, Sync, Cache. It's just refresh the database. Select PSX if it's not automatically selected. And just all versions. Go to here, type in Crash or whatever game you want. And I'm going to select Crash Bandicoot 3 Warped EU version. I've already got this in digital form and in physical form as well. Therefore, I'm going to be downloading this. Again, this video is not condoning piracy so now if i just click download and unpack this shouldn't take too long because the file isn't too big that's another reason i've chosen it because i have other you know playstation 1 games that i own as well but some of them have a pretty big download size hence why i chose crash bandicoot 3 because the download size isn't too big okay so this will all be done another great thing about mps browser is it's really fast the downloads are there's no annoying ads or any you know that malware stuff it's just easy and simple and like literally pretty much every game is available that's it we're downloaded now what we can do is just close this down and we actually want to sort of exit out of this so i'm going to say press ctrl c and now we are going to copy ps extract.exe so copy that go to files psp emu psp game and your game will be here there might be other folders if you any game you downloaded you can check modified to see which is the latest ver you know folder and that's the latest game that you just downloaded paste it your ps extract.exe now using wine we need to run this to convert the eboot.pbp so if you go back type in cd and drag this folder onto it i'm going to change directory to it now we are going to type in wine and we need to type in ps extract.exe so this is the file that we're running space dash c so this is saying we want to you know convert it to a bin q file and then put space and then the name of your pvp which is eboot.pbp click enter 
This is just going to extract everything and build our ISO image. It's not the ISO part that we're interested in, but it does that as well. So this, this process doesn't take long. It's a matter of seconds and we're done. So if we go to CD-ROM, there you go. We have our bin and Q files all ready to put on our PlayStation Classic. Just really simple. Once you've got, you know, Wine and MPS set up, it's just really, really easy. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message. In this video, I haven't shown you how to run these on the PlayStation Classic because I've already got a separate video covering the setup and showing you how to run bin Q files. So feel free to check that out. If you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.